The world of AI is evolving at an insane rate and the tools that have come out since my last video are even more mind-blowing. There's a lot to cover, so let's dive in. The new development that's been taking over my timeline and has crazy potential is autonomous agents. Agents are coming. So AutoGPT is an experimental open source attempt to make GPT-4 fully autonomous. Yeah. This is the example that started it going viral on Twitter, AI Twitter at least. You just give it a name and type your goal. In this case, create a startup with $100. So it comes up with the tasks to accomplish its goal, browses the web for research, crosses off tasks as it completes them, then creates new ones. This is a massive breakthrough. This is still in its infancy. It's less than a month old. Someone already created a web version called Agent GPT that you can use without any technical knowledge. The possibilities for this across all industries and life in general are massive. Along these same lines is this game that was created with generative agents to create an interactive simulacra of human behavior. Basically, they created AI characters with their own memories that can interact and learn from each other. They gave each character seed memories like this one, then they put 25 of them in a sandbox environment reminiscent of The Sims. The website replays the entire simulation. You can see what any character was doing at a given time. They're able to create plans, initiate conversations, form opinions remember and reflect on days past. It's pretty crazy to read through this paper. The comparison a lot of people are making is to Westworld, which doesn't seem outside the realm of possibility in the near future. Things are going to get weird soon. I mentioned Mubert before, where you can easily create royalty-free music to use on YouTube or podcasts. This new feature they launched is really cool, where you can generate music from a text prompt. So if you're any sort of content creator, you can type in the scene or emotion and it will generate a song that fits. Another music one is Wavetool. It's a platform for music producers to edit music with natural language. Their goal is to make it easier for beginners to get into music production because it's typically a steep learning curve. Conductor is the name of the chatbot interface it has where you can say things like, give me a beat or make my vocals sound professional. I messed around with it, it's fun and it's free to play around, but their demo does a better job at getting across its capabilities. Can we make the melody sound a bit more interesting? Maybe sort of spacey and distant. Then you may have seen some songs spreading around that weren't made by the artists whose voices were being used. That sounds weird to say, but here's an example that went pretty viral of a Kanye apology song. So let's hear those vocals I just recorded now with Kanye over them. Yeah, yeah. I got a fantasy that's beautiful, that's dark and twisted, but I attack the whole religion all because of my ignorance. I don't want to play many of these others because there was someone who created one of Eminem rapping about cats, and that got a copyright strike and taken down. That first one was a video of Roberto Nixon. He teaches exactly how he did that in this video. He used a tool specifically trained on Ye's voice. I assume they isolated his vocals in a bunch of his songs to program it. But if you want voice cloning to play around with yourself to easily train on any voice you want, 11 and labs is the best available. They recently Not released this expert, video that gives a great demo. But as a concerned citizen, one of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday, and the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. As an actor, I pretend for a living. You can combine that with Midjourney to create images, use DID to make them speak. Then you can get something like these Balenciaga memes that have been going around. You are Balenciaga, Harry. What is the difference, Potter, between H&M and Balenciaga? Here's one that showcases how powerful these tools can be for positive societal change. With Glass, you can enter any medical problem and it will generate an entire clinical plan. It uses ChatGPT, but is trained on a clinical knowledge database created and maintained by clinicians as its main source of facts. There's a common phrase in the AI world that applies here. AI won't replace humans, but humans using AI will. So you'll of course still need a trained medical professional operating these, but just imagine a doctor that's completely up to date on every medical paper that's been published of course that person will beat out someone that's not using it. There's issues to be worked out and improvements to be made, but to use another common AI phrase, this is the worst it's ever going to be. And another quick one in this realm I'm excited about is Consensus. This is a search engine based off research papers. For questions in topics like medicine, nutrition, or economics, instead of Googling and getting a bunch of answers from blog posts, ads, and random sources, or scouring PubMed for hours, this will show you quotes from all the research papers that answer your question with tags like systematic review or 
rigorous journal. You can click on them to just read the abstract, and then if you want, you can click through to the full text. This new synthesize feature is where it gets really cool. It will analyze all the papers for you and give you a consensus rating, and it will tell you how many papers that's based off of. And again, there's of course problems with this that can arise with emerging science, industry-funded research, conflicts of interest, things like that. This is still new, and with all those things in mind for a lot of the stuff you might be searching for, this is a great alternative, and I'm excited to see how it develops. All right, now for some more eye-catching ones. I talked about Luma Labs in my last video, but this new update with Unreal Engine has some awesome possibilities. Quick refresher, they use NERFs or neural radiance fields that lets you capture a few pictures with your phone and then turn it into an entire 3D scene or object. Now there's this plugin for Unreal Engine where you can upload it to the platform and use it however you want. There's a ton of possibilities, but the applications in hyper-realistic video games, it's huge. Like instead of creating a 3D model of a motorcycle from scratch, which is hugely time consuming, you just take some pictures of a motorcycle, upload it, and it's good to go with perfect realism. Another cool one is say you upload photos from a trip you took, then you're able to have the entire scene recreated in three dimensions to explore again. Now throw that into some VR goggles and you can completely immerse yourself in an old photo. You can walk around and view it from any angle as if you were there again. This is a new update that was posted today by a group of people building on this technology. It's called Zip Nerfs. This stuff is amazing. That another technology with Unreal Engine is their new emotion capture. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes all I need is a look. You can record someone's face and capture their emotions, then easily put that onto a 3D character's face. It also gives you the potential to edit it further if needed. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes all I need is a look. It was such a difficult task to recreate emotions with previous techniques. And while we're on the subject of emotions, I saw this video spreading around of a tool that detects emotions in real time. This video is impressive to see, but it's hard to play around with. Then I came across another tool called Hume that's easier to check out. So it's a bunch of models that analyze human emotions in various subtleties of language and facial movement. They have these databases you can look through and listen to. There's a lot of potential applications for this. Some are great and make sense, like creating relatable characters for animals animators, or maybe call center voices that are able to detect callers' emotions and respond properly. There's also some weird ways, like giving super realistic emotions to romantic chatbots, which already exist, by the way. And there's, of course, more sinister ways. There's always pros and cons. Now, a couple quick ones that I just thought were funny. With meme cam, you just snap a picture and it will turn it into a meme. And some of them are actually pretty good. And Do Not Pay is an AI lawyer that can do all sorts of legal things. I mentioned them before, but they just released this new feature that uses ChatGPT to respond to scammers in your email. Here's their example from an NFT scammer. It has a few options, but infinity mode is the funniest where it just engages them in an endless conversation. You can choose the tone, how often it replies, how long you want it to drag the conversation out. Honestly, a lot of these scams are probably being done by bots anyway, so it's really just two bots talking to each other, but I thought it was pretty funny. And they have a bunch of other useful legal services on their website. This one feels like old news now, but ChatGPT plugins are going to be a game changer. I still don't have access personally, but here's the demo if you haven't seen it yet. There'll be all sorts of apps connected directly within ChatGPT. So it uses OpenTable to order the food, Wolfram to calculate the calories in the recipe, then pulls up Instacart with all the ingredients from the recipe already in the cart. Meta released a pretty cool tool called Segment Anything. It's a promptable segmentation system that can cut out anything from an image with a single click. It is still the demo version, but you can upload your own images or use all their test images to experiment. You can automatically segment everything in an image. It has this multi-mask capability, which displays in 3D, which looks really cool. It can even lift 2D objects and make them 3D. They also have a demo of its future potential with AR and VR headsets. Skybox by Blockade Labs is a text to 3D world creator. It's really fun to play around in. You just type in your prompt and select what style you want, then it will create an entire 3D world. I tried to give it a challenge. This was a prehistoric landscape where dinosaurs and aliens roamed together. Not bad. I also tried a dystopian wasteland made out of chocolate. Gotta give it some credit on this one. I've seen some people on Twitter get some really impressive ones. It's pretty insane that it just takes a sentence and a few seconds to do this. Move.ai has incredible motion capture abilities. If you compare this to how it used to be done, it's monumentally easier. Canva released a suite of AI design tools to their already powerful design platform like Magic Design, Magic Eraser, Magic Edit, 
a presentation builder with Magic Write, text to image, plus a beat sync for their video and animation features they have. So if you need quick designs or are just a casual designer, this is way better than trying to learn something like Illustrator. That's my personal favorite thing about all these new AI tools. It makes it so much easier for people who have great ideas, but not all the technical skills to make it a reality. You can just jump right in with an idea and create something awesome. That's what I'm most excited about. So I'll see you in the next one.